Hi all, in this video, let's explore how to integrate the voice, video calls and live streaming features into our web and mobile applications in the JavaScript. So with the help of the Zego Cloud, we are going to do that. So not only with the just JavaScript, you, if you want for the React, Angular and the Vue, also you can integrate them. So let me show you that first. So this is a Zego Cloud. So here, first thing is like, it is like a plug and play. You can easily access all these features with the plug and play, like voice call, video call, live streaming, in-app chart, all these things. You no need to build from the scratch. You can just plug and play with their code base. They will be having some UI kits. So with the help of that code base, you can easily integrate them. So to do that, first thing is like sign up into them, their account and after sign up, so you'll be having a dashboard. Once you sign up and once you log in, you'll be having a dashboard which looks like this. So once the dashboard is like this, so you need to create a project. So this project can be of any of your project name. Okay. And once you create this project, it takes some time to create the project. Once the project was created, so I will show you this edit part. Once the project was created, there are two things to be noted. One is app ID, this one, and the other one is a secret server secret. So these two are very much important for us to generate the token. So I will be explaining what and everything here. So in this video, we'll see how to integrate the live streaming. And this would be same for the audio and video features as well. So in this zigocloud.com product live streaming. So if you go down, so in this URL, if you go down, you'll be having a couple of UI kits. So from there, so this is a UI kits. So you, you can have, if you want to develop with the Android, so this is a code based test. You can copy paste these lines. If you want for the, for the iOS, you can do this. So like that, let's go with the web. So I'm going with the web JavaScript. So I'm clicking this run. So once you click this run, they will be providing us a document how to integrate this with the web JavaScript. So this is how the live streaming looks. So if you come to the live, you can do the, in app chat as well. So this is what the in app chat and all the features, whatever, uh, if you come to the live stream, you'll be having audio, video, chat, participants list, everything, all these features would be available by default. Okay. So how to integrate this with JavaScript? Let me show you that. So before integrating that, we need to have the tokens, right? So why to have the token? So token is like an unique identification for that section session. Okay. Now, how to generate this token. So as I said, this app ID and server secret are important. So once you create your account and login, create a, the project and go to the dashboard. Okay, then if you edit your project, you will be getting these two values. Okay, once you get these two values, now you are ready to generate your token. You can generate your token in a couple of ways. So the first way like, a, uh, the first way is like you can just go with the this one. Okay, by just copy pasting the JavaScript code, you can generate your token, so, fine. So the other way is like, if you want to go to the live, to the production mode, it's not like you will be generating the token all the time, right? So that's the reason you can deploy your application in the Heroku environment, where this would be automatically generating the tokens for you. Okay, you no need to worry about generating the token, maintaining the session, okay? but. In this example, we'll learn this method too. So where I'm copying this code base. So let me copy this, I'm copying it. And let me go back to the VS code, I'm pasting this. So here, if you observe in this generate pre-built token, so you need to give the parameter one as a app ID, parameter two as a server secret. So let me give that, okay? I'm going back to my admin page here. So I'm copying the app ID. So I'm replacing that app ID here and in the place of the server secret. So let me copy back the server secret here. So you need to click this. So it was copied. So let me go back here in the place here on the server secret. Let me copy this. So now we are ready that you can generate the token. So how to get the token? So now token will be available in this token variable. So just console log this token variable. So now our token will be generated and it should be logged in the console. So I will be copying that token and I need to use the token while I'm integrating with the live stream application. So let me go back to the here. So here you'll be having a couple of UI kits, I said, right? In, in that, so here you will be having the live stream, right? If you want that for the video or for the audio, just you can replace the video audio here at the top. You'll be getting the video audio features as well. Easily you can integrate that in your application. Now. In the documentation, we are happily we could able to generate the token. So now let me go back to the quick start here. So in the quick start, so here, let me 
code out so this is the code base to integrate the live stream so i'm copying this code base i'm copied this so i'm placing this in an html file here so here one thing you need to remember is you need to keep a comma here okay once you copy paste that a comma will be missing here so don't no need to worry so you need to keep this comma so these are couple of properties you want so you'll be having so if anyone joins your room when you are in a live stream so you can have all these properties enabled or disabled fine so now once the token is generated here you need to copy paste that token here so then the live stream is ready you can happily use a live stream so let me run this so i'm running this in the vs code live server so i'm inspecting this so you need to copy go to the console you need to copy this token you need to copy this token not the pre-built token you should not copy the pre-built token we use this pre-built token to generate the virtual token so the 54th line this token is what you need so i'm copying this token and i'm removing this file i'm clicking into button because uh, i want token i got the token so i removed it and i will go back to the live streaming file here i will paste this token so now i use the token here so that's it that much is it so let me run this live streaming here open with live server so see this is what you'll be getting so you can start your camera so here i have a switched off my camera so you can start your camera you need to give this link to whoever members you want to join your room for the live streaming you can use this and if you click the join so this is a username this was default generated because we have not modified the username or user id name of the room those parameters we have mo not modified so that's the reason we got this you can customize this as well so once if i click join so you, this is a session so this is a live stream now now we are at the live stream so here you will be having a couple of options for the in chat and you can see the participants list everything will be available for us so now if you share that link whoever the members they can join this live stream so this is this much simple within a two clicks like two generation of token and copy pasting that token is you, you are ready for the live streaming so this is that much easy you can easily plug and play with the help of this zigo cloud features okay this is what the live streaming feature so if you want the same for the audio video see here if i click at the top you can have for the video conference kit call kit so these kits these are like easily plug and play things you can easily plug and play with these as well okay so this is how you can do this and one more thing is like not only for the just javascript if you scroll down see you can see you can install the sdk so where if you install this sdk you can directly plug and play whatever the tech stack like if you want that for the Ang angular or react also you can do the same things as well okay for the ios android web so even if you want for the any of the web like a uh, react applications uh, also you can do so here you will be having this demo applications so if you want to check how the quality and everything so you can go to this route demo apps you can download the demo app here zigo cloud zigo call so you can uh, download this from the android and the ios and you can uh, check the quality of this video audio and it and thereafter you can make a decision to integrate this with the plug and play features of this zigo cloud so hope you understand so thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos